Welcome back to Barbara and Haskell's Kitchen. My name is Amanda. Today we're going to be making a frittata, or as some people call it, a crossless quiche. This is super easy to make. You can swap out the mushrooms and the spinach for anything you like. I really felt like I needed some vegetables in my life after the Christmas break that I've had. Um, and as I'm going to be working from home, it's always great to have some ready-made meals in the fridge. This one is great for breakfast, lunch, or dinner. It tastes great right out of the oven and it tastes great reheated as well. It's super easy to make. Right now I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees and I have six eggs in this bowl and I'm going to add a quarter cup of milk to my eggs and then I'm just gonna whisk it together. And once it seems pretty well together. You can add some salt and pepper to taste. I've also added a little bit of cayenne pepper because I like a little bit of heat to mine. And I'm just gonna mix that together again. And now we're just gonna add in a cup of cheese. I'm just gonna eyeball it, which means I'm probably gonna put more than a cup in, which is okay. I've picked um, an old cheddar. I love a sharp cheddar cheese. So we're just gonna mix a cup of cheese, grated cheese in with our mixture. And we are already halfway through making this recipe. Now I'm gonna move over to the stove. We're gonna put on some onions, some mushrooms and some butter, get that nice and cooked up and add it to this egg and milk mixture. All right, so now we are going to melt about two tablespoons of butter into our pan. Uh, I like to use butter in this step instead of oil just because it adds a nice creamy texture um, to the frittata. So that's my preference. And now we're going to throw in a small white onion that's chopped as well as about 110 grams of mushroom. I'm going to let this cook on medium high, medium high heat until it starts to brown. All right, so now that our onion and mushroom mixture has browned, we are going to add in two cups of spinach. Again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And we're going to let this cook for one minute until the spinach sort of reduces down a little bit. All right, it has been one minute, so we are gonna take this off the oven, or the stove now, and we are going to mix it in with our egg mixture. All right, so our onion, mushroom, and spinach uh, mixture is done. So I'm just gonna scrape it into the bowl with the egg. Now we're just going to give this a light little mix, make sure that it's all incorporated and that egg has gotten on everything. And now all of the hard work is done. So literally we're going to take this mixture, we are going to pour it into an 8x8 eight eight greased pan, like so. We're just going to pour it in there. And we're going to put this into the oven, which is preheated at 300 going to put this into the oven. I'm not even cutting that out. We're going to put this into the oven at 350 degrees and let it cook until it's um, a little bit brown and light and fluffy. So I will see you in about 25 minutes when this comes out of the oven. All right, so the frittata is done. It looks like this. Super easy recipe to make. And if there's another veg that you would prefer to put in, you can swap any of them out for something else. I personally love spinach and mushrooms. So this was perfect for me. If you have any questions about the recipe, please leave them in the comments below. If you have ideas for upcoming shows, we would love to hear from you. Please leave those in the comments as well. As always, we will see you in two weeks time. Hope you have a happy new year.